Students, Eric Magidson here. Um, so as you start the server, been a few questions, so I wanna go ahead and look at this. What I've done is simulated with my training server here what you're going to see when you get in to initialize disks. Now, the first thing you can see, these disks are offline. Um, most likely as you get into Disk Manager, let me show you how I got into there, by the way. Um, I'm in server 2016, so all I have to do is come down here, hit disk, you know, create and format hard disks, okay? So that's one way to get there. Um, and, and frankly, is the easier way. In server 2012, you're gonna click on here, it's gonna open up that start screen, okay? And all you have to do is start typing um, disk and it'll bring up that tool, okay? So um, great example or advantage of server 2016 is we get a similar Windows 10 interface, uh, you know, essentially to work with, okay? So as you can see, my disk management comes up. I've gone ahead and pre-configured the server for you. What you need to do is initialize the disk. So there should be a pop-up that comes up that says, hey, do you wanna initialize disks? And you'll say yes. At that point, what you need to do is come down here, right click and bring it online. So I'm gonna bring both of these online. And then I just need to create a volume. Now, entirely up to you how you create the volume. If you wanna use the max space, that's cool. I'm gonna do a new simple volume. I'm gonna come in here and use the max space. Um, I can name it whatever I want. I'm gonna do V, because this is gonna be VMs, and next. And then I'm gonna give it a name. Now, here's the thing with the volume name. Um, here I'm gonna call this VMs, zero one, okay, and then SSD, and you'll see why I do this. I, I wanna know what type of drive this is, okay? Because with servers, you're not necessarily going to be able to see what the physical drive infrastructure is. So in this case, as it pops up here, if you notice, I'm gonna be able to tell by my disk configuration that this is gonna be my VMs drive 01, it's gonna be SSD, so that I know it's SSD. Now, if it's RAID, I'm gonna put what kind of RAID array it is and how many physical d disks it uses, okay? So then down here, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna do a new simple volume. I'm gonna use the entire space. I'm gonna make this W, V, W, the next in the deal. This is going to be VMs, uh, dash zero two. Did I use dash? I don't remember, nope. Just VMs zero two dash SSD, so I know it's an SSD drive. In my machine, I have SSDs um, so that as I do things, training goes faster, you know, as, as I format things, etc. So that'll go ahead and run. If you notice, I have two primary partitions there. So now if I come into File Explorer, I'm gonna see those two VMs and I'm gonna be able to populate these with VMs. So here's my suggestion, folks as you do this, when you start creating virtual machines, and we'll talk about this, put one on one drive, one on the other, one on one drive, one on the other. That way you're spanning those resources and utilizing them for performance. So some of you are gonna have only two additional RAID arrays. Everything in your servers should be RAID arrays. Team seven, those folks with the Team seven server, unfortunately you only have one RAID array and the rest are single drives. So of course we need to be more focused on backup in that case. All right, any questions, let me know. Take care.